for joining us on another journey. Today, we're in Merida, Mexico, for the Day of the Dead. Oh yeah, and we're in a cemetery, and it's dark out. And we're doing what, April? Celebrating Dia de los Muertos. Yeah, the Day of the Dead. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the spooky journey. When's the last time you went in a graveyard, April? Cemetery? At nighttime. Um, I've done it. Um, Not me, I'm scared. <laughs> <laughs> Merida, Mexico. We're in Merida. Merida, Mexico. For the Day of the Dead ceremonies. And how do you guys say it the actual Spanish way? Dia de los Muertos. Dia de los Muertos. All from Oregon. You're all from Oregon? It's only the Americans dressed up around here. Except Priscilla lives here. I live here. <laughs> Do you mind if I film you? You look beautiful with your. Uh, uh, what's, what's, what's it? What's it for? It's just my YouTube channel. Okay. Filming with, filming with her. Yeah. Okay. 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 Where are you guys from? I'm from here. She's from Vancouver. From where? Vancouver. Ma Vancouver. Vancouver. Okay. You, you're originally from here. Yes, yes, yes. So tell us, tell us uh, a little bit about Over here, that kind of stuff. Well, this is a uh, Mayan tradition. Actually, it's called Hanal Pichan. Which means the food from the from the dead, from the soul. So they come every year to with their family and their loved ones, and we bring food and flowers to make. You know, just like Halloween, but from our local Mayan traditions. Right, right. Yeah. It's it's more about uh, honoring the dead exactly. than being afraid of the dead. De definitely, we're not afraid of the dead. We're more like honoring them. Yeah, every year. This is a tradition, and we cook also some specialities that only you can see in, in Yucatan. You can only see in Merida, like for example the the beef bread, but inside we have chicken and meat, and it's bacon underground. And we just been nominated as for the for the UNESCO in the Gastronomic City Network. So there are only two cities in whole Mexico that have this award. Is the one is Querétaro and the other one is Merida, and we feel really proud about it. Oh, that's yeah. amazing! <laughs> Thanks for sharing with us. Welcome, sure. and welcome to Merida. We Thanks are really happy us. to have you here. Pock is an ancient Mayan ball game. I described it in last week's Ushmal video. And in fine wing, form and fashion. I will say card above here. Hee hee. There are varying perspectives on what happened when they played the game back then. Some say sacrifice was involved, others say beheading was performed, and still others say that sometimes the winners were killed, as it was an honor to meet the gods early. Some say that opposing Mayan kingdoms may have had their best warriors compete instead of having a full-blown war. And others even say that a game's result was treated as an omen to a king's or a priest's question, depending on what team won gave them a certain answer. The way the game was played varied as well. In some regional areas, they might have played with their hands, and in other regions, they may have used their feet too. Want to check out a live version? They play a game every Saturday night in Merida, so if you're visiting the Yucatan, 
Make sure to plan on attending. You will love it. We want to thank you guys for watching our video all the way to the end. If you would, hit that subscribe button, share it with a friend, and like always, thank you for living life. Where are we at, April? I don't know. Where are we at, Wayne? We're in Medellin, Mexico. We're at where? Medellin. Am no. I saying it wrong? Yes, you're saying it wrong. Oh, man. Where are we at? Merida. Merida. Where, did, where was I? Where the heck was I thinking I was at? I don't know. Okay. Your farts are scaring me. Yeah, they should be.